Welcome back, you beautiful people, and welcome to a very special pro bike. Yes, the bike is special, but what makes it special is the man himself who is riding it. This is James Lowsley Williams, aka Hank from GCN's Mega Avalanche Pro Bike Check. Yes, Hank himself from GCN. So I sent him a text to say, would you like to take on the Mega Avalanche as a team? And he reluctantly said yes to the unknown. And what better to tackle the Mega Avalanche than the bike that was designed for it, and this is the Nuke Proof Mega. Yes, this is the Nuke Proof Mega Comp. It's a 2023 model. It's aluminium in a turmeric color. It's a medium-sized frame. It's the same size as that I would ride, but what's special about this, it's aluminium. So you're probably asking the question, why aluminium? Being a roadie, he loves carbon fiber everywhere. There is some carbon on this bike, but I'll come to that in a minute. I went with aluminium because it's way more durable. It's uh, a peace of mind. So if you were to hit it, it would be fine with a little bit of a dent. Whereas carbon fiber, if you hit a rock, you kind of compromise the structure of the carbon within the frame, which will make it very weak, especially if you've done it up the top and you've got to get all the way down the bottom. So let's talk about the rear suspension on this bike. Now, straight out of the box, this bike comes with the RockShox Super Deluxe Select Plus. It's 165 mil of travel. Now he weighs 71 kilos. So we've added one band in here, but we've added a little bit more pressure above his recommended pressure for his weight. Because of the train we are riding, we wanted not to blow out too much because it is gnarly out here. Right, the business end of the bike, the forks. Now again, straight out of the box, these are the RockShox Zeb Select Plus. 170 mil of travel. We've added three tokens in here. And again, like the rear, we've added a little bit more pressure in the front as well. So out of the box, this bike is pretty bang on, but we have made a few changes, so let's touch on them. When it comes to the Mega Avalanche, you need tires that are super durable, something that can take on all of those rocks. Now, we've got the Vittoria Mazza 29 2.6 Enduro casing, so it's very tough sidewall. And inside there, we've got the Vittoria Airline insert and PT's sealant. As much as this is a super durable, super tough Enduro casing tire, I've never seen a man go through a rock garden as hard as Hank. Poor chap, this is his first tire. As you can see, we've got some plugs already. Now to get this bike rolling down the trail, we've got the Nuke Proof Horizon wheel set. Uh, mixed wheels, mixed wheel size. I went for the mixed wheel size because I thought Hank would be a lot more over the back because he'd be quite timid when it comes to steep terrain. Where the 29 are on the rear, I thought it would be quite close to his bum and I don't want him to be buzzing his butt and get a bit uncomfortable when it comes to riding very steep stuff. Where this place, has a lot of that to offer. Now, the little valve cores on here are the PT's X 50 to one. They're the raster ones, and I've tightened that up to 420 Newton meters, if you get what I mean. Right, the cockpit where this gentleman keeps this bike under control, because it's very demanding out here. Let's talk about the bars and the stem. These are the Nuke Proof Horizon bars cut down to 760. We've got the Nuke Proof Neutron stem right here. It's a 50 mil stem. The grips on this bike are the Ergon GD1s in a nice olive green and a nice oil slick finish for the lock-on. Talk about oil slick. I learned this from Doddy and it's this right here. It's the quick link for the SRAM chain down the bottom. Just in case he smashes it on, on a rock, he snaps his chain, he can come up here, grab this and hopefully fix his chain so he can continue racing. So the one mechanical item that's gonna get used a hell of a lot and that is the brakes. So we've upgraded those to the Magura MT5 E-Stop. It's a four pop brake and we've got 203 rotors front and rear. The cranks on this bike are the Truvative Descendant and they're 170 mil and we've got a SRAM 32 tooth chain ring on the front. Something that is very used to and that's been clipped in on the road. So we've got the Crank Brother mallets in a black. The drivetrain on this bike is the SRAM GX. It's a one by 12, but it's the 12 to 52 range cassette on the rear. Something that Hank is very used to and that's sat down pedaling. Now, when it comes to rough terrain, you need a dropper post because when it comes to the gnarly stuff, you need to get that saddle way out of the way. So the dropper on here is a 150 mil drop and it's brand X Ascend. Remember I said about carbon? We can't have this bike without a bit of carbon because his bikes are just all carbon. So this is the Ergon SM Men Team and it's got carbon rail. Look at that. Ooh, -wee. sexy. Bit of lightweight there. So there we have it, the bike is all done. There's a few minor changes, the saddle, the grips, the brakes and the tires and the inserts is crucial. But the one thing that this man is uh, known for is his very peculiar clothing, very tight. So let's talk about the kit. Yes, the kit. 
a man that wears lycra a lot. He lives in it, but he's someone that absolutely loves wearing baggy clothing. Good, because we've got some baggies right here. Now let's talk about safety because when he departs from his rig and hits the floor like this, you need protection to keep yourself safe, especially when you're riding rocks like this. Right, it's absolutely mandatory that you wear a full face helmet when you're riding the Mega Avalanche. So we've got the Smith Mainline full face helmet in white and black and actually looks really pimp. And the goggles are the Smith Rhythm MTB Chromo Pop lens in here, but it's the combination with the black and the white, oh, it just looks so good. And on here, you've got the, the GoPro just to capture all that gold. But it's got MIPS built into the helmet, perfect, keeps you safe out there. It's very aerated on these hot days riding down this humongous mountain behind us. Now, thanks to EMBN, we've kitted out Hank with a full body armor. So, talking about the elbow pads and the knee pads, these are blue gross solid knee pads, and we've got the skinny elbow pads, just because of those contact points when he hits the floor. Now, when it comes to riding the Mega, it is mandatory that you wear a back plate or a back protector. So, we've got the blue gross seamless light with a D3O built into the back here. We've got some two pockets right here, it's very airy, so it'll keep him cool, but protected if you were to have a crash. The shoes that he's gonna be wearing are exactly the same pair as mine. They are the Shimano AM9s, clipless shoes. And a man that loves his bagginess, we've actually decked him out with our very own GMBN trousers and a number of race jerseys. Now let's talk about hydration. So we've gone with a Camelback Mule Pro hydration backpack. Inside is a three liter hydration bladder with a hose coming out. Now we've opted for this because you don't really want to have a water bottle on your bike, especially when it's rough and you're trying to find your water bottle, drink it, trying to drink it through your full face and then trying to put it back in. With the hose, it's easy just to quickly get it, put it in your mouth when it's safe to, drink as much as you can, click it back in, and I feel like that is the safest option to get your hydration when you're racing down some very technical trails. Now let's talk about what he's gonna be carrying inside here, the tools and some of the spares. A mechanical can happen at any time here at the Mega Avalanche. So we've got a number of different tools here. We've got some tape just in case something breaks and you need to strap it up quickly. He's carrying a Topig multi-tool and on this multi-tool, it has a chain breaker. So when you do snap a chain, you put your quick link on, you can just quickly dismantle it and fix it. Now I did put an extra quick link inside his bag just in case he snapped his chain again. He can never be too cautious. Yes, in inner tube, just in case you have a massive slice in your tire and those plugs don't fill that hole, the best way is to remove the insert and just quickly insert an inner tube. To inflate that inner tube or a puncture, we've got the quick option. We've got the CO2 with the Topeak Air Booster. That will fill it up really quick. But if he gets another one, we have another option here, which is the Topeak Rodi TT. That's a high volume one. It's very small, compact, and it's nice to carry. It's quite light. And last but not least is a first aid kit. Now, this is a very small one. We are both carrying one in our backpacks, and uh, hopefully we don't get to use them. But if we do, we've got this. It's best to be safe than sorry. So there we have it, folks. James Losey William, AKA Hank from GCN's Pro Bike Check and his kit. If you haven't watched the video already, it's linked in the description down below or click up there to go straight to it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, from now, I'll see you next time. See ya.